Hi, this is Miss Gotti here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this cotton candy inspired makeup look. I know, like, a, a lot of people have done colors. I literally just did blue the other day. If you haven't seen it, I'll just go ahead and link an Instagram post down below where I did a Splatoon character. So there's that. Um, I literally am digging this look. The eyeliner is literally made with lipstick. Yes, lipstick. Um, I already know it's safe for the eyes because I usually use these kind of lipsticks for like Halloween makeup when I'm recreating characters. So I know like it's safe for my eyes. Always test things out first before you even apply it. So I'm going to just go ahead and say that right now. Um, I didn't do my, my usual contouring. I contoured with blush today. So it gives me more of a subtle appearance. Nothing too harsh, but like, you know, still noticeable. Um, I did color eyebrows. I'll go ahead and link some videos down below and talk a little more about the eyebrows later um, I'm digging these lips. It's natural glossy mm, Wet and wild petal poison um, from the rebel rose collection. So there's that as well um, You know, I have a couple other makeup looks coming out. So there's that I also will be using this DIY liquid highlighter that I literally just made in my previous video I made it right before I started filming this one so I haven't really tried it on in the video, so this is what I'm going to be doing for this video. I'm going to be trying this on, showing you guys how it works, so stay tuned for that. Um, you know, I think that's pretty much it. So you can go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to do that. Without further ado, let's just get straight to the video. So we're going to start off with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer and just go ahead and set our face. So I had to go ahead and do my eyebrows off the camera. Um, if you haven't seen my eyebrow tutorial already, I'll go ahead and link that down below. And if don't mind my husband, he decided to play the game next to me. So he's playing the Smash Ultimate. If you haven't heard of it, y'all should check that out. Um, anyway, so if you don't know how to do color brows, I'm going to go ahead and link that down below as well. So we're going to go ahead and finish off with our face. Today, anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and use the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation and we're going to go ahead and do our face. The Elf 16 Hour Camel Concealer, we're going to go ahead and do our T-Zone area. For those of you who doesn't know his name, his name is Alex. He streams on Twitch. If you don't know that, it's a website where gamers go and play online and apparently others watch. He hosts. He just lost a match right now, so um, he's no, little, I didn't. He's a little disappointed. I just no, I just disappointed. He wasn't so he's not good. <laughs> yeah, King K. Rule. My husband's favorite no, character is, is Inkling. Yeah, King K. Rule is not so good. Really, he's not. Palette. We're gonna go ahead and set our under eyes using this shade right here. Priming our eyes, of course, using Broadway Colors Eyeshadow Primer. Setting our primer, we're going to go ahead and do this LA Colors Matte Palette in the color Black Lace. And we're going to go ahead and use this white. So to get that bright, faded pink, we're going to use the blush color. So we're going to go ahead and use this Milani Blush in the color T-Rose. And we're going to put that into our crease. Go ahead into this L'Oreal Paris um, palette and we're going to go ahead and grab this matte light blue shade and place it on the lid, blending it slightly upward towards the crease. Grabbing my Broadway Colors Press Powder, we're going to go ahead and set the rest of our face. We're going to go back to the eyes later, but let's just get this bake sheet out the way. Going ahead and grab that rose eyeshadow brush from the Rebel Rose Collection from Wet n Wild. We're going to go back into that blush and do our under eyes.
Now I'm using the tape technique and going into my True Matte Lipstick from Broadway Coast in the color Electric Shock. We're gonna go ahead and do a pink liner. This is CoverGirl Katy Perry in the color Kitty Whisper. We're gonna go ahead and contour our face using the Milani blush. Yes, we're using blush to contour our face today. This is it. Using that Wet n Wild contour palette again, we're gonna go ahead and dip into that contour. And we're gonna do the upside down triangle on our nose. I tapped off the X's this time, so... <laughs> the wet and wild highlighting powder we're gonna go ahead and finish off the illusion of our nose and we're also gonna highlight the inner quarters and our brow bone using my liquid highlighter if you haven't seen how to make this I'll go ahead and link the video down below I made this DIY liquid highlighter and all you gotta do Little goes a long way, so we're just gonna go ahead and grab a little dot, just a little bit, and we're gonna pat it on to our highlighting area and share it across the other side. And just pat it on. Very little again. You see that highlight? Look at highlighting powder. Using the Wet n Wild Natural Finish um, Setting Spray, we're gonna go ahead and lock this all in place. Right, you guys conclude this makeup look. You tell me what you think. I, for one, am digging it. Like I said, if you don't know how to get color eyebrows, um, you can go ahead and click on the link below. I have a tutorial on how to get color eyebrows. Um, I did a tutorial on also how to get your perfect winged eyeliner. So there's that as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, just end this video right here. Um, I have a couple other looks to come out, so stay tuned for those. Um, if you haven't already seen on how to do the DIY liquid highlighter, you can go ahead and click on the link below. I literally just filmed this um, right before I did this video. So, and I used it um, for my face as well, so you get that subtle highlight. All I used was two ingredients, olive vera gel and a highlighter. That's it. Super easy, it's great for your skin, um, and plus it's not an oily like base, so it's gonna literally tack down into place. So you can even set it with a powder like a highlighting powder so that way it'll be even more. Um, I, I did that but I used very little highlighting powder because I wanted this to be the star of show so that's what I did. Um, stay tuned for my upcoming videos. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I do smoky eyes for beginners but I'll also be doing color smoky eyes so you can expect that video coming along as well. I'm gonna be doing a couple other recreating character um, inspiration looks for makeup um, you know, well, I'm just gonna keep that uh, this outro short, so you know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead and click that bell notification. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My Instagram is scottytahati.4, and my Twitter is scottytahati underscore four. So there's that as well. Um, if you haven't already, you can even follow my husband Alex on his Twitch account at Alex Morales 1992. He's gonna be changing it soon. He said it, so I'll just just do an update if he does and when he does so there's that um you know well, without further ado i'll see you guys next time bye hotties